morning guys <laughs> welcome to another what I eat in a day it's it's early it's it's 7 10 I'm about to head out head out the door for my soul cycle class to go work out you guys always catch me on my soul cycle days I feel like because those tend to be the busiest days because it's like the 45 minute workout so I do that when I'm really busy and today is a Monday so it's my busiest day because I have three back-to-back -back classes in a row, so, so I meal prep a lot for Mondays. I prep my breakfast the night before so I don't have to worry about that rushing in the morning. I prep my lunch to take to me to class. So you'll see all that I I bring today. I meal prepped some overnight oats last night, and then I prepped my lunch also to bring with me with a new recipe that I tried out. It's on my blog too. I'll, I'll get all into that. So for now, I'm about to head off with a banana. I'm just going to take that with me and eat it on the walk to Soul Cycle, which it's just a walk um, and a little bit of a train ride so not to, it's like a 15 minute commute so I'm gonna take that so that I can I can get going there I already had my B12 spray when I woke up um, and then I also take an algae d3 supplement I'll show you with breakfast but for now I'm just gonna head out grab my my cycling shoes my bag and I'll be back soon So I'm getting ready now in a rush per usual because the line to get this fucking coffee was literally like 10 minutes of my whole entire 20 minute commute. It's 9.55 right now. I have class at 11 so I need to be out of here by like 10.40 so I can make the 20 minute walk. Um, and I still have to, I mean I only have like two seconds left of doing my makeup and then I'll do my hair and then I'll eat breakfast. I made overnight oats last night and these oats are just rolled oats, cacao powder, reishi powder, hemp protein powder, psyllium husk just a little bit which gives it a texture like I do half a teaspoon. Um, pumpkin puree and then just stir it all together with almond milk to like soak overnight. Also added in stevia and a few drops of peppermint extract, just peppermint like oil extract. I make them like reishi thin mint overnight oats. I have a recipe for them up on my blog from forever ago. I'll link it down below. I think I just add protein and pumpkin puree today. That's what I did um, to the normal recipe, but basically it's the same and it tastes literally like a chocolate Girl Scout cookie thin mint. This highlighter by Stila is amazing by the way. It's their Heaven's Hue highlighter and kitten. I've had it for like three years and it's still nowhere near running out. It's bomb. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to, oh shit, while I do that, while I do that, I'm going to cook up some cinnamon apples in a little bit of maple syrup and spices. For spices, I'm going to do cinnamon, cloves, and cardamom. Um, that, those are like my go-tos for fall, autumn spices. And then, um, yeah, no, I'm just going to cook those for like three minutes while I do my hair. And then have it with a little bit of cashew butter probably and I will show you show you what it's like when I'm I'm done fixing my eyebrows and doing the rest of my makeup all nighter because of all day classes if you know you know too because today is my long day breakfast I'm putting I'm adding on top the stewed apples which are so beautiful and so amazing opening up this fresh cashew butter so we can get a nice 
spoonful of this going on. Ooh, a big tablespoon, huh? And now we are good to go. I'm also prepping my lunch to go for the day. So I'm using the same recipe as my autumn uh, kabocha squash and coconut salsa ranch dressing recipe that's on my blog. So I'm just gonna pull that all together and pack that with me to go. Flour, I already have sunflower seeds on this. I put those on last night. So just a little bit of black pepper chili lime seasoning, and herb seasoning to finish it all off. Packing this up to go. Bring a little fork. And now we're good for the day. So heading out now, taking my lunch, packing it. I don't have time to add the grapes in here to this recipe. I'm running too late. I'm already like gonna have to hustle. Um, I will show you when I'm eating this during class or in between my classes and I'll be back here for dinner, making something good tonight. Okay, I literally just walked in the door. I have had class all day. And then went to the local witchcraft store near me and I picked up a custom carved candle which is in here for the Libra New Moon coming up because I love to do carol candle ceremonies. Picked up some new incense too and signed up for their next candle carving workshop so we can start to do this ourselves. Got some packages too, some interesting things. I'll open them up. I'll do, do an unboxing of my, you know, New York apartment delivery <laughs> shit going on here. I can't ever open perforated packages, like I always have to slice them, cut them, what am I saying? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so I bought this shirt from the Ram Dass Love Serve Remember Foundation, Becoming Nobody, because it was like for his foundation, it was like $70 I think or something ridiculous. But I mean, it's really cute, like a shirt to, a shirt to hang out in, it's totally not the aesthetic, but I wanted to, to help out Ram Dass, who's, who's one of my faves. This, this is a cool package. I really hope my camera is auto-focusing right now because my new camera doesn't have selfie camera and I haven't set up my Atomos yet, so I don't have any way to see myself. How unfortunate, I love looking at myself in the viewfinder. I got Sheila Jeet my friend who is a really talented astrologer and healer himself and herbalist got a download for me that said I need to start taking cordyceps mushroom powder, cordyceps mushroom powder and Sheila Jeet, um, destroyer of weakness, conqueror of mountains. So it's just a little dropper of Sheila Jeet extract. You can look up the, the cool things, but this is like, we're just holding it here. Like I can tell it's really high vibe. Um, this is from Now Alchemy. I got a promo code from Shaman Durek, who I love Shaman Durek and all his teachings. Watch his shit or listen to his stuff. He's an incredible shaman and spirit hacker and just overall genius healer. But um, he talks about this brand and he as a promo code so when um, when my friend told me that I should get some of this I went I knew where to where to find it um, yeah so I'm gonna like settle down put my sh this is really heavy this is all my shit and I haven't taken it off um, I'm gonna put my stuff away settle down and then we'll start making dinner I'm making a spaghetti squash pasta with vegan plant balls. I will not call them meat balls because there's no need to use the word meat ever. It should not even be, it should not be a vocabulary necessity. Um, so I'm going to be making some spaghetti squash spaghetti pasta with a nice cashew like tomato marinara kind of sauce, cream ricotta. I don't even know. I'm just going to make some cashew cheesy sauce. Maybe it'll be like cashew alfredo basically with um, vegan plant balls on top. It'll be fun. I'm following loosely a recipe by Min Minimalist baker, actually pretty on point. I'm just gonna need no eyeball measurements, but you know, I'll show you show you along the way once I get hungry here.
my camera is out of space, so I'm filming this on my phone, trying to get some, there we go, some good light. Um, so I stirred up the spaghetti squash with some onions, cherry tomatoes, kale, and garlic, and a few spices. And it didn't, definitely didn't turn out as pretty as I'd hoped it to be. Um, I'm having like six, so half of the plant balls, a little bit of cashew cheesy sauce on top and topped it with black pepper. I'm going to add some hot sauce on afterward. Not that I'll show that, but um, I'm sure it'll taste good. But I mean, this is the rest of the spaghetti squash. It's kind of a fail. Like it was just kind of like goopy. Um, and then the... Um, the, like the sauteing the veggies didn't really work that well just with the spaghetti squash. I don't know. I'm going to stick to the dishes I like at restaurants with spaghetti squash because it seems that me conquering it is not the best thing. So here I'm just adding hot sauce because necessary. For dessert, I'm going to have my usual chocolate toast because... One meal that was different today is more than more than enough for my usual routine of meals I'm obsessed with. But a little change is that I'm actually having their, their same Lakanto chocolate that I love, but this one is the chocolate with almonds. I don't usually get this one because I remember trying it once and being like, I kind of like it without almonds better, but I feel like switching it up. So I'm going to do this with a little bit of um, this Legendary Foods cinnamon bun almond butter because this is the best nut butter in the world and I didn't have it for breakfast, so I'm going to top it with this this with this and then a date um, and I'll show you at the end. 